from you! You'll be so much easier to roll when you're dead! Looks like the gate is shut. Something used to slot into that pedestal over there. My guess is that's what controls the gate. Whatever it was, it looks like it was only recently removed. Probably bandits trying to make some quick coin by looting the dungeon. Look around for any clues. Maybe we can find out what happened here.
Bob, guide me! Vagrants? Did I not tell you already that you'll get what you want? By Shaw's bones, I need more time. Wait, you're not one of those cutthroat smugglers, are you? Explain yourself before I immolate you in hellfire. Ah, I, I suppose that's what all the commotion was about then. 
The rabble plundering these ruins of its riches mentions something about their shipments being jeopardized. But honestly, dragons? Maybe it was a cliff racer. They have been known to grow quite large. Well, I suppose that is quite something then. This island is the caldera of an ancient volcano, and the barrow itself is built into the mountains. I know of a way deeper down, through these ruins, into the magma chamber. That's likely where you'll find your dragon, but there is one slight dilemma. Follow me and I'll show you. Yes, there we go. As you can see, a bit of a dilemma. This? Oh, this, this is a... Uh, how shall I say it? Uh, uh, part of my experiment. I've been researching the Draugr here for quite some time now. It's a bit of a silly story, really. While testing a new spell that I had been hastily working on, no thanks to these boneheads, I uh, had a bit of an accident. I must admit I'm still working out the kinks of the new spell myself. It's not entirely ready, in case you didn't realize. The spell I've been working on allows me, well, anyone really, to control the Draugr. At least to some degree. That Draugr must have accidentally pushed a switch somewhere ahead of us, subsequently closing this gate. I was preparing this for my next attempt. Good that you showed up just now. There's a little something I've been wanting to try. Oh, don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Well, relatively safe, at least for you it will be. I think. I've been wanting to find out whether I can transfer control to another person. To allow somebody else to control the subject I've prepared. If I can get a positive result out of this experiment, I can finally finish the spell and even expand on it further. And by that I mean having control over living things too. Animals. People. Well, some control at least. And only for a short time. So, what do you say? Ready to give this whole Draugr a spin? I don't think we can get this gate open right now by any other means. Excellent. Just remember to keep going until you find that switch. It's there, somewhere. I'll end the spell once the gate is open. Now stand still while I cast this. It might tingle slightly.
you've done it! Excellent work! Well, it seems like your mind is still in one piece. <laughs> That's good. Seems like it went better than the last time. With this, I can finally finish my research. I couldn't have done it without your assistance. I'm exceptionally grateful. Hmm? Oh, uh, not for another 10 or 20 years, at the very least. I'm still having a myriad of problems to account for, after all. But enough about the details. You have a dragon to hunt, remember? I don't have much in the way of weaponry to help you. But feel free to take whatever supplies you need from my laboratory. You've helped me with the most difficult part of my research today. And for that, I thank you. I may join up with you later on once I've cleaned myself up. Transferring minds from one body to another really works up a sweat. Whew. Dragon? I don't know what you saw when you were controlling that Draugr, but I expect we'll have quite a battle ahead of us. those bandits. If they interfere with my work again, I'll cook them easy over.
stick together down here. Keep your eyes peeled for traps. I'll keep my eyes peeled for your sister. Quiet. We are not alone in here.
Did you hear something? Oh, 